Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So last year I went to Malaysia to visit my family for Christmas and we ended up going to Genting Highland, which is a resort area in the mountains. There's plenty of restaurants, activities, an indoor theme park and even a temple to visit there. I tried to vlog as much as possible over the two days, so here's the video. I feel like I'm at an airport. <laughs> Are you scared? No. <laughs> wow, we're going up. Oh yeah, we're going to the high score. Ooh. Oh wait, we're going higher, right? Cable car. Ooh, very nice. Oh, it's so good. At this point, we had all had a long day, but all the neon lights really helped to raise our energy levels. There was one attraction I was dying to try out, and that was the zipline. <laughs> so basically what happens is that you get all geared up in the harness and helmet, and they brief you on what to do and what not to do. Hey mom, how are you feeling? We started from the 4th floor and ziplined about 200 meters to the 1st floor, cutting through the middle of Skytropolis. The top speed is supposed to be about 25 kilometers an hour. The zipline itself wasn't scary for an adrenaline junkie like me, but the bit that got me was when I had to stand up on the edge. Let me tell you, the ground looks a lot further away when you have nothing to hold on to. Overall, it was a really fun experience and I enjoyed it a lot. The staff were extremely friendly and even let my mom have a go for free. I highly recommend this to those who want a little thrill. If mom can do it, you can too! Just as we were leaving, I saw Koi, which is my favorite bubble tea place in Malaysia. I got my Yakult green tea with 70% sugar, half ice, and the signature golden pearls. The golden pearls are tapioca mixed with brown sugar, giving it a firmer texture than regular black pearls. I really love Koi tea, and I have to have several every time I'm back in the country. So the next day, we headed to the Chin Sui Caves Temple, which is a temple set on a 28-acre plot of rocky forested land. Completed in 1994, it was built in the name of Reverend Master Chin Sui, a Buddhist monk from the Fujian province who was renowned for his ability to summon rain and drive away evil spirits. Within the grounds, there's a path you can take that takes you past caves which has life-size statues depicting the 10 chambers of hell. This is basically a way to tell children, don't do bad things or you'll end up like this. It's pretty creepy and I wouldn't want to be stuck up here at night. That's one long boy. After the 10 chambers of hell, there is a depiction of the 7 fairies descending down from heaven, followed by the 3 gods of luck, wisdom and longevity, and the mother goddess. If you're hungry from all the exploring, you can also buy a boiled tea egg, which is an egg that's been boiled in herbs and tea. It's really good. Overall, it's quite a change from the noisy theme park and shopping centres on Genting, but should be an interesting place to visit for those who want to learn a little bit about the temple. 
so we are at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video even though it's quite short this time. And yeah, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!